Hey everybody, it's Jerry, and what I'm going to show you how to make today is a really easy and really delicious gluten-free bread. I guarantee this will be better than any bread that you'll buy in the store. So what we're going to start off with is uh, our dry ingredients. Now I already have um, three cups of brown rice flour and four tablespoons of coconut flour. Just going to mix those together a little bit. And then we're going to add to that uh, a cup of arrowroot starch. And then we're going to add four teaspoons of xanthan gum. And then we're going to add uh, about three or four teaspoons of cinnamon. And then we're going to add four tablespoons of pure cane sugar. And then I've got four packets of uh, active dry yeast. So we're just going to throw those in. And then just mix up those dry ingredients really well. All right, and then uh, just put that aside. And now we're going to mix up our wet ingredients. So I'm going to put in four eggs. And uh, just beat those eggs a little bit just until they get mixed up pretty well. And then I'm going to add a third cup of olive oil. So just uh, mix that all together. And then add that to your dry ingredients and mix that up. This, this is what this will look like. It's kind of like these little peas that start to form. But just make sure it's all really mixed up well. And then the last ingredient that we're going to add to this is uh, rice milk, but we need to heat the rice milk to a fairly precise temperature. So we want approximately 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So make sure that you get a thermometer that you can test the temperature and get it around the range of 102 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so now we have our uh, two cups of rice milk, which has been heated to approximately 102 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to form a well in the center of our dry ingredients. Just going to push everything to the side. And then we're going to pour the rice milk into the center. And then just quickly mix this all up. So having the rice milk at the right temperature will activate the yeast. Now the key here is that we want to get the right consistency. We want to get kind of a soft dough consistency. Um, so right now this is a little bit too wet to work with. So we'll just add more flour to uh, get it to the right consistency. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit more of the coconut flour. Again, if it's, if it's getting a little bit too wet and sticky, just add a little more flour. You can also uh, use a little bit of the starch, um, which actually helps even more to uh, make it less sticky. So I'm just going to add a little starch to it.
So now unlike um, regular bread, which is using gluten, you don't really need to knead it. Uh, usually the process of kneading is to kind of get the gluten going. You don't really need to do that. You just want to kind of get it all mixed and mixed together into a nice even ball. And then once you've got it nice and mixed together, uh, I've got a bread pan here and I've sprayed it with um, coconut oil so that the bread won't stick to it. So just plop it down into the bread pan and just kind of press it in and even it out. Again, just, just put a little bit of starch on your fingers if it's getting too sticky. Okay, so it should look like that when you're all done. And then we just cover that with a cloth and just leave it in a cool place to rise. And we want to let that rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, it'll pretty much double in size. You'll see the whole top of the, uh, the cloth come up. Um, and then we'll come back after that's risen. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. And we take the cloth off and see that the bread is risen. And uh, the last thing we want to do before we put it into the oven is just brush the top of it with a little bit of olive oil. Um, this will help to make the crust a little bit crispier. So we're just going to take just a little bit of olive oil and just kind of brush it on the top. Okay, and then we're going to bake this in an oven which has been preheated to 375 degrees for approximately 50 minutes. That's five zero minutes. So here we have the final loaf of bread. Um, just let it cool and then you can slice it and eat it. So try it yourself at home and enjoy.